most of the questions, you are expected to multiply and divide numbers from each other. Hence, we will share some simple tricks and tips as to how you can find whether a certain number is divisible by the other number without having to actually divide it. Hence, let us see the divisibility test of all the numbers from 2 to 12 one by one. Let us begin. First, divisibility test by 2. Any number which has an even number in its unit's place will be divisible by 2. For example, 6, 9, 4, 7, 3, 6. Now, at its unit's place, it has 6, which is an even number. Hence, the whole number would be divisible by 2. Let us take another example. 7, 5, 4, 3, 6, 9. Now, here, 9 is at the unit's place, which is not an even number. Hence, this number won't be completely divided by 2. Let us move on to our next divisibility test. That is the test for 3. Any number where all its digits sum up to be a number which will be completely divisible by 3, the whole number would be divisible by 3 completely. Let us take an example. Say 6, 9, 5, 4, 2, 1. Here, if we add all its digits, we get 27. We all know that 27 is completely divisible by 3, which is 3 into 9 is equal to 27. Hence, this number is totally divisible by 3. Let us take another example. 9, 4, 8, 6, 5, 3. If we sum all the digits of this number, we get 35, which is not divisible by 3. Hence, this number is not divisible by 3. Moving on to our next divisibility test, which is by 4. Now, any number where the number formed by its 1's place and 10's place digit is divided by 4, the whole number would be divisible by 4. For example, 6, 8, 7, 9, 3, 7, 6. Now we know that 76 is at 1's place units place and tens place and we also know that 76 is divisible by 4 hence this whole number would be divisible by 4 let us take another example 4 9 6 1 3 8 now the digits at units place and tens place here are 3 and 8 which makes up 38 and we know that 38 is not divisible by 4 Hence, this whole number won't be divisible by 4. Moving on to our next test, which will be by 5. Any number which has 0 or 5 at its unit's place will be divisible by 5 completely. Let us take an example. 4, 9, 3, 2, 6, 0. Here, at unit's place, we have 0. Hence, this number is completely divisible by 5. Another example. 4, 7, 6, 2, 9, 3. Now, at its unit, unit's place, it does not have 0 or 5. Hence, it is not divisible by 5. As simple as that, guys. Next one is divisibility test by 6. Now, any number which will be divisible by both 2 and 3 will be divisible by 6 as well. Let us take an example. 90. Now, let us check the divisibility test for both 2 and 3 on 90. For 2, we know that our unit space is 0, which is an even number. Hence, 90 is divisible by 2. 2, check. Now, for 3, if you remember, we sum up the digits of the number. Here, if we sum it up, it's 9 plus 0, which is 9, which is divisible by 3. Hence, 
Hence, the visibility test of 90 by 3 shed. Hence, 90 will also be divisible by 6. Let us take another example. Let us take 93 now. For 3, it will be divisible because 9 plus 3, 12. 12 is divisible by 3. For 2, it won't be because at units place, it has an odd number, not an even number. Hence, this is divisible by 3 but not by 2 and hence, it will not be divisible by 6 as well. It was easy, isn't it? Moving on to our next divisibility test, which will be by 7. For any number to be exactly divisible by 7, all the digits that make a number at its thousands place and all the digits that make another number at its hundreds, tens and ones place subtracted should make a number which is completely divisible by 7. Let us take an example. It sounds complicated, but trust me, it's very easy, guys. Example 4, 7, 3, 3, 1, 2. Now, at its thousand space, we have 473. At its units, tens, and hundreds place, we have 312. Hence, 473. Minus 312 gives us 161 and we know that 161 is divisible by 7. Hence, this whole number would be divisible by 7. It was easy, wasn't it? Moving on to our next divisibility test. Divisible by 8. For any number to be exactly divisible by 8, the digits at its hundreds, tens and units place should be divisible by 8. The total number formed by those three digits. For example, 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 5, 2. Now, here the digits at its units, tens and hundreds place are 352. Hence, we need to check that if 352 is divisible by 8, which is yes. Hence, this whole number would be divisible by 8. Let us take another example. 5, 7, 6, 4, 8, 4. Now, the, digit, the digits at its units, tens and hundreds place are 4, 8 and 4, which make 484, which we know is not divisible by 8. Hence, this whole number won't be divisible by 8. Moving on to our next divisibility test, which is test by 9. This one is very easy, guys. The divisibility test of 9 is quite similar to that of 3. For a number to be divisible by 9, the sum of all the digits should be divisible by 9, as it was in 3. In that case, all the, the sum of all the digits should have had been divisible by 3, but now it should be divisible by 9. Let us take an example. 2, 4, 6, 5, 9, 1. Here, all the digits sum up to be 27, which we know is divisible by 9. Hence, this whole number would be divisible by 9. Let us take another example. 7, 3, 4, 5, 1, 9. Here, all its digits sum up to be 29. And we know that 29 is not divisible by 9. Hence, this number is not divisible by 9. It was easy, wasn't it? Next, checking the divisibility test by the number 10. It is the easiest one. For any number to be divisible completely by 10, it just has to have a 0 at its units place. Let us take an example. 4, 6, 5, 3, 9, 7, 0. Here, such a lengthy number, but it has a 0 at its units place. Hence, this whole number is divisible by 10. Let us take another example. 7, 9, 3, 
5, 5. Here, at its unit space, it has a 5, not a 0. Hence, this number won't be completely divisible by 10. Our last second divisibility test, guys, it's 11. This one is a little complicated, but it's very easy. Focus on it now. Let us start this by an example itself. 5, 7, 4, 6, 3, 8, 2, 2. Now see, here, the difference between the sum of digits at the odd places and the sum of digits at the even places starting from right should be either divisible by 11 or it should be 0. Then only the whole number would be divisible by 11. Let us check the test in this example. Continuing with our technique of divisibility test by 11, we add up 2, 8, 6, 7 and then subtract it by the addition of 2, 3, 4 and 5. 2, 3, 4 and 5. Which we get 23 minus 14. Which equals to 9. Now we know that 9 is not divisible by 11. Hence, this number is not divisible by 11. Last divisibility test guys. Which is the test by 12. For any number to be completely divisible by 12, it has to be divisible by both 3 and 4. Let us take an example. 756. Let us try our divisibility test of 3 on this. 7 plus 5 plus 6. We get 18. 18 is divisible by 3. Hence, divisibility by 3, check. Is this divisible by 4 guys? Let us see. Is 56 divisible by 4? Yes it is. Hence 756 is divisible by 4. Divisibility by 4 also check. Hence 756 is also divisible by 12. Let us take another example. 1017. Let us take the divisibility test for 3. 1 plus 1 plus 7. 9. Hence it is divisible by 3. Divisibility test for 4 is 17 divisible by 4? Obviously not. Hence, it is not divisible by 12. That's it for this concept.